If you have spent much time in the world of conservation biology, or even on this channel, you have probably heard the term biodiversity. Biodiverse, biodiversity, biodiversity. So what is it? Well, quite simply put, this contraction of biological diversity is the variety and variability of life in a particular area, habitat, or planet. On Earth, the most biodiverse places are often in the tropics, including tropical rainforests and coral reefs, where a mind-boggling multitude of species can be found living in the same place. To date, scientists have described around 2 million different species of organisms on Earth, but with species constantly being discovered, there could be so many more, easily 10 million, but some more liberal estimates suggest up to a trillion. Today, though, species are going extinct rapidly, with potentially 30% of living organisms going extinct by 2050. A percentage putting the current biodiversity crisis on track to become a mass extinction event. Preventing this and protecting biodiversity is often the primary goal of conservation biology. The way biodiversity is most often measured in the field is through species richness, being the number of species in some area. Species richness is often adjusted with species abundance, which also takes in relative abundance of certain species. In nature, some species are naturally abundant while others are rare, so it is actually quite important when measuring biodiversity to take this fact into account. This may lead to areas of conservation concern being the most biodiverse regions, something I will be discussing in the next video in this series. The way biodiversity is measured can be broken down even further into alpha, beta, and gamma diversity. Alpha diversity is species richness at a local scale, within an individual site or habitat. Beta diversity is a ratio between small-scale local diversity and regional diversity. These two can then be added together to calculate gamma diversity, which is meant to be the total diversity in a given landscape. Beyond this, when calculating biodiversity, one can get into the diversity indices, which are something that could easily constitute their own videos, but I know that I have no business trying to explain statistics on the internet. But should conservation biology be focused so much on biodiversity? Biodiversity's main benefits are often said to be it increases evolution rates and stabilizes ecosystems, and those are the main reasons to protect it. Evolution leads to more biodiversity, so without determining why biodiversity itself is valuable, this creates a loop. Ecosystem stability by biological diversity is a far stronger argument. Species fill niches in an ecosystem. As long as these are filled, then the ecosystem remains stable. Having a richness of species then creates redundancies, making the ecosystem more stable in the face of change. However, different studies sometimes contradict each other. For example, all the introduced species have made Hawaii more biodiverse, but it became a more chaotic ecosystem, with its many native species now very rare. Beyond this, we really cannot compare biodiversity of different places or taxonomic groups. You really cannot compare the biodiversity of a rainforest and a coral reef nor can you compare the diversity of the just over 5,000 mammals, which is probably most of the present species, to the 400,000 known species of beetles, which likely only scratches the surface of their actual diversity. Both play critical ecosystem roles, despite the massive differences in overall species diversity. Often, biodiversity as a word is really trying to talk about all life on Earth, both known and unknown, and protecting biodiversity is saying we want to save everything as the noble, optimistic goal of conservation. But unfortunately, this is not all that realistic. We are losing species daily, and so cannot save everything. Especially since conservation has only a limited budget. So finding priorities is unfortunately necessary. But if biodiversity is standing for protecting everything, it is not a particularly useful term. Biodiversity is ultimately just a placeholder for some sort of biological value. Perhaps removing this blanket placeholder term and using specific biological values, like ecosystem functionality, we want to protect, and making those a priority is a better approach than just saying, 
save biodiversity. So what do you think about the idea of biodiversity? Is it too vague and we should instead be more specific when talking about what we want to protect and why? Or is talking about protecting the most species under the term biodiversity something we should be doing? I know that despite it maybe being an unnecessary placeholder, I will be continuing to use the word. This video is part of an ongoing Fundamentals of Conservation Biology series with a new episode coming out each and every month. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so you can be notified when the next video in this series comes out. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.